Family, what is good? Thank you for watching TOJ. I'm your humble host, Rico Swappy. This is where I bring you the topics of the day, things that are trending. And what is trending right now is Charlemagne the God. Charlemagne the God gave himself donkey of the day a couple of days ago because he just, I guess, woke up and found out he was raised in the era of rape culture, which is total bullshit. Let me tell you why. You know, America is the one country where women have the absolute most freedom of of the free world. And to say that, you know, that there's a culture in America that normalizes the actual sexualization of women. Um, that makes it okay for men to rape women and that there's a certain myth and mindset that goes into the idea or that plays to the idea that men can do certain things and just get away with it. Let me stop you right there. I have no problem with a sex offender getting the justice he deserved. I'm talking about actual knuckle justice plus some justice, you know what I'm saying, in jail behind bars where he belongs. He or she belongs. But women have been complicit in the rape culture that they claim they're against. And I'm going to tell you how. I can vaguely remember when I was in high school. Mm, you know what I mean? It, it's, I graduated back in 92. And I was a nice guy. Super, super nice guy. I would give girls the answers to homework. I would buy them snacks. Basically just all kind of stuff just to get you know some kind of recognition. And for some odd reason, it would just never happen. And... When I hit like my 20s, mind you, I'm like, you know, 15, 14, 17, just, you know, teenager, teenager years. And um, I started hearing from other other girls that girls do not like nice guys. Now, I'm not saying that's an excuse for the jocks who got the girls to be, I guess, like sexual abusers. That, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the definition of rape culture as the feminists actually defined it is basically anything that a woman does not like even other women could be defined as rape culture I think they use the term rape culture to draw awareness to I guess to the feminist movement the radical feminist movement but the focus group that coined the term rape culture should have named it something else Okay, because it's too vague of an offense. I mean, too too vague of a title to just sit there and say, well, you know, a, a guy told me good morning. That's considered rape culture. Then they got this thing called mansplaining. They come up with some other term called street harassment. And there's all these weirdo, like third wave focus groups of women in the feminist movement who just keep making up these really retarded like phrases. Now they have something called a slut walk. You can't have it both ways. Women do not like other women. Women hate nice men. If you think back in high school, if you're a woman listening to this video right now or watching this video or whatever, remember, there was a certain point when girls could just like, you know, like, like men had to go to the daddy and ask the guy, ask the dad for permission to date his daughter. And you had to be the nice guy, the guy next door. And the, the father had to approve of you. But the girls did not like those type of guys. Girls will walk and talk and crush the nice guy. But they'll haul ass to the asshole with a 14-inch personality. So help me understand what I'm missing in, in, in this whole total frame of things. If, you think, if you're, if you're a, a guy right now, you think that long and hard. When you had a daughter, if your daughter's old enough, you remember when you told your daughter to get a nice guy and you started realizing that your daughter was only attracted to like Lil Wayne or the scum of the earth, all them drug dealers in my neighborhood who get all the women, girls are not attracted to nice guys. So women, it's up to the women who are complaining and it's usually always ugly girls, no offense, but it's usually the ugly women that's always complaining about rape culture. You never feel like usually the hot girls are the ones that are involved in slut walks. So you have TV shows like Sex in the City, Murphy Brown, and all these different shows where women was, were, were independent and they took their sexuality in, into their own hands. As a matter of fact, I think maybe five years ago they coined the term cougar. Where women of a certain age, 
it was celebrated that these women was like some kind of sexual predators. Remember that? When, they, you know, you get the hot chick maybe in the late 30s, early 40s, who was considered a cougar. They even had like a cougar website. They had like a cougar day. All that stuff was completely cool when the woman was doing the sexual hunting. Or when, he was, when she was out there on the prowl, so to speak. So, it's a, it's a really disgusting double standard when it comes to women themselves being the sexually aggressive person when they're out there cat calling men or whatever you call you know howling at a guy in public so it, it, it's all these really weird terms on the left like I, I actually googled and researched like five articles that had you know um, the term rape culture as the you know the title of it and there was an organization back in 19 I'm sorry back in 2014 called RAIN RAIN is the leading advocate for rape against women, violence against women. Um, I think RAIN stands for Rape, Abuse, Incest um, National Network. Even they was like, we have sons ourselves. Even if they're LGBT people involved in that particular movement, they know that right for Slate.com, they have uncles, nephews, who can also fall victim to those vague ass terms. I mean, a girl can simply get her feelings hurt and just say you raped her and you can lose your life. Your freedom. You can lose an NFL contract. There was a black dude back in California. I remember that. And this dude was like, um, right coming out of high school. And this black chick just like, just claimed he raped her. And the school got sued for like $3 million or $9 million. This dude just got out of jail, I think two years ago. His life is over with. I think he's like right at about 26 or 25 years old. This dude's life is over with. So for Charlemagne to sit there and say, well, yeah, I was, uh, I saw a video and, you know, and Dr. Dre video and the girls. Let me tell you something. I, w I was in high school. I've, I've tried to go to college before. And the college campuses, you, you, I've met older women who was like, they, they were just, they were, they were just bragging about all the slimy, stanky, slumming fun they had when they was in college. College is actually where you go to fuck around and get off. Experiment with girls. Experiment with guys. You go to, you know, toga parties, you drink and you go to fraternity parties. You go to college with that on your mind. Outside of college debt and your studies. But girls, they go to college for that. And what happens is you have these people with all these really weird, you know, uh, African-American studies, women's studies, social studies on, you know, rape culture on the college campuses. Let me tell you something. There's nobody in law enforcement that take rape physical rape itself as a joke we all take that shit serious I got a daughter for that matter alright and I'm one of those guys who you know what I'm saying I, I've got friends who, who did time for rape I got uncles who would tell me don't mess with white girls cause all a white girl can get up and say is I think you raped me and you know look at Emmett Till so the whole idea of saying that you grew up, you know, in rape culture and you're going to give yourself donkey of the day because you just woke up and somebody, probably somebody at corporate made this dude write that shit. I, I, I don't co-sign it. That, that donkey of the day was completely contrived. They probably coerced him into doing it because, you know, obviously he, he's a public figure. So he works for a corporate office and there's a whole movement going on with, you know, with, and for some reason, I don't know if November is sexual harassment month, but everybody's coming forward with some kind of story and if they have and they, if they were legitimate victims you know what I'm saying and they claims all legitimate then come forward there should be no statute of limitation on rape let's get that clear but for him to stand and say well yeah man I, I feel some kind of way for being born a man in America in the 70s I'm born in 1974 trust me I don't feel no well guilty for everything I've seen as a grown man coming up looking at all these weird TV shows and all these girls out there, you know, on the on the catwalk, on the runway, taking their their, their sexual freedom under the you know um under themselves to wear booty shorts and all. I mean, I, I've seen the sexual revolution. This is what comes with it. If you're gonna men, by default, you have a mechanical wiring in your head that makes you attracted to women, especially women who are half naked with their butt out. You're gonna see. Oh, good Lord, that's a nice ass. I mean, you're not, you might not, you know, you may have a little bit of decorum to not say it. But when you go to the store and you buy shorts without no pockets in the back and damn near no cheeks in the back, 
What do you expect, you know, a guy to say? I'm not saying that that's going to lead to rape, but I'm saying it's going to lead to somebody somewhere saying, wow, you have a nice ass. Even other girls are going to say you have a nice ass. I've seen girls compliment each other on how nice their ass is or something to that effect. But when a guy said, oh, my God, I'm so offended by you telling me that, I'm, I'm, you know, I mean, as of recently, there have been a couple of black women who came out, for example. Um, and some black teachers went viral where these, these teachers, even the traffic, the traffic news girl, the, the kind of light skinned, big booty, red bone chick, she's like a size 12 or something. And she went um, she went viral because. Her natural body is curvaceous. She got a voluptuous body. And other women hated her for that. That That is, I can't say bullying, but it, I guess it's, like it's it's internet bullying by other women. Then it was a school teacher herself who I think was going to school, dressing a little too skanky for a, a school teacher. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Though, though, that's to be expected. When you're um, going to high school with all those hormones and them young dudes, and you got all your butt out, you got a flat stomach, like a tiny waist, and a big old booty, and all the, all the, with all the rap culture, all the rap videos going on out there. Let me tell you something. People in the music industry are, for the most part, liberal. If the people on the left got a big issue, I also got it, trust me. With all this music, even R. Kelly included, R. Kelly has to be one of the most popular liberals out there and he has a whole sex cult in his house but for some odd reason this dude concerts are packed so it goes both ways this man got groupies begging to be in his, in his sex cult and these are daughters of guys and women who i'm sure have told them that this dude is a sick puppy so trust me there's blame to go everywhere it ain't just i'm born a man in america and I'm a, I, I, I'm also like, I guess, implicit, you know what I'm saying, with, 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 with this rape culture. Because you're not. I haven't raped anybody. I don't have no sexual, what they call it, um, I'm not a sex offender. But according to, you know, the, 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 the definition of rape culture, as the feminists define it, I can also be a sex offender. If, if some girl just feel that I insulted her by saying she has a nice butt or me telling her good morning on the, on the day she's having a bad day. That that's not right. There's too many. There's too many ways. And I, as a black man, I'm, I'm I'm trust me. I'm connected, and I am related to too many men who've been falsely accused of rape. And that the, the people on the Democrat side, the liberals who actually are on, they advocate, they fight, they lobby for all these laws, need to really have a come to Jesus moment or a meeting of the minds to literally lock down tooth and nail the actual. Um, provable points of, of what a rape is because there's too many ways that you can be it, that that law could be abused and that I do not like I love freedom I love freedom of expression I love freedom of the press but at the end of the day too many men and even the women the lesbians who got brothers and uncles and dads all of those guys and even other women could be accused of a sexual assault and literally lose their freedom over that. I do not like that. That shit is disgusting and it's aggravating as hell. And somebody, me or whoever, got to say something, got to say something about it. Rap music has been slimy and nasty forever. I've seen Madonna go on stage and do and do sex acts on the MTV Awards. I've seen, you know, like Iggy Pop grab his balls. You know what I'm saying? At a concert, it's broadcast all over TV. They went crazy. I done seen Aerosmith videos. So, the imagery of these women, in fact, most of these videos were designed by women. The costumes were designed by women. So, what the hell is this dude talking about? Anyway, Charlemagne, you know, I did a video. I guess I'm not gonna say protecting him, but I did a video because the guy's book was amazing. I did why um I did read Black Privilege and I I found it to be a good read. But me and Charlemagne don't we don't agree on everything, and this is just this is one of those um one of those topics where we don't agree. Anyway, giving you guys opinions on it. I'm the opinion junkie. This is what I do. Um, subscribe to my page, hit like, share, um, and leave me some kind of feedback in the um comment section. I look forward to hearing you guys um thoughts and opinions.